Bharath Kopala Swami, director of the South Asia Centre at the Atlantic Council. Thank you very much for speaking to us. As you were hearing there, almost all of the results, some 98% of the vote has been counted. Um, we see that Ibrahim Mohamed Soli, the opposition candidate, continuing to maintain his lead. Why have we not heard anything from President Yameen? Well, I think that's a great question to ask. I think and the longer President Yameen waits to concede defeat, um, it's, it's not a good sign for him and uh, it's not a good sign for the, the democracy in Maldives or for that matter, it's not, a good, it's not justice to the people of Maldives writ large. I think he should come out, the people of Maldives have spoken and he should come out and concede defeat and be gracious in his defeat. And that's a lesson that, um, he, he, that's, a, that's a pill that he will have to swallow. Is he likely to accept this result? Well, I mean, I think he's. This was a big. This was a big of a shock. He, what he was hoping and he was aiming, was to consolidate power, um, and with the way that I think uh, prior to the elections, the way that he had, um, as I would call it, manipulated the institutions um, uh, to a bit to um, to um, exercise his control over the institutions of Maldives. Um, um, I think it, it woefully backfired. Um, the elections overall were a little bit chaos and disorganized, and people had to wait longer in lines to, wait, to vote. And I think those were raising the transaction costs as high as possible on the Maldivian people to come out and vote in the, in the hope that they, wouldn't, they would give up and return home in the frustration, and that would, um, that would, that, that would, that would, uh, that would get him the desired result that he hoped. I think that those techniques did not work in his favor, and I think those are some things that he'll have to digest and he'll have to um, work through them. And I and I'm not sure what his advisors right now are telling him. And I hope they give him the right advice to be gracious in his defeat, um, come out and uh, concede um, concede victory to his opposition, Soli, and um, uh, move forward and you know um, and uh, open a new chapter in the Maldivian history. It's been a tumultuous few years in the Maldives, a, a somewhat volatile political climate. How do you explain the opposition's performance in this election when the playing field was stacked against them? Well, I think, you see, um, let's, let's put it into a bigger context, right? Maldives, um, in the, in a, prior to the, the transition that we've seen, the democratic transition that we've seen in the last 10 years, had, had had an authoritarian regime, and then their democracy is a relatively new process. Voting and transition of power um, has been a new process. And in this, there, is, there have been traumatic incidents for Maldives in general, you know. And with that said and done, uh, and, you know, the, 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 uh, as you put it, the, the, the opposition did not have a level playing field. But the true victory here belongs to the Maldivian people and also the opposition to resort into some kind of um, in some kind of a patient struggle, so to speak, to earn the justice that they have deserved today, and we must congratulate them for uh, persevering through the techniques that they know and persevering through the democratic principles and fundamentals that we all are um, um, that we all are familiar and cognizant with. And I think we must congratulate the opposition. We must congratulate the um, to to a level the institutions that have been resilient enough to the manipulation techniques of the uh, the ruling uh, ruling party, and the Maldivian people's resiliency and resolve to see through a fair and just process, waiting through the lines, persevering through the lines, to to have had a say, um, uh, to have had a say um, in the overall democratic process. And I think this is a lesson for all of us in the Western society who believe in the fundamentals and principles of democracy. All right. Well, thank you very much for sharing your analysis on this with us. Bharat Gopalaswamy, director of the South Asia Center at the Atlantic Council, joining us there from Washington.